welcome back to another episode of I'm So Craigie. Today we're in France. They drive on the wrong side of the road here, so I'm just getting used to that. Weirdos. I'm just leaving my hometown now, just driving out of the cul-de-sac. It's gonna be a long time till you see these videos, guys. I've had an absolute nightmare. My laptop, motherboard went. That's what I used to edit my videos. So for the summer, there's gonna be no activity from my channel, as you know, because it's certainly past summer now, if you're watching this. This is part of a road trip that I'm doing to Barcelona. I plan to break it up over as many videos as I can. That would include the west of France, which should be this video, hopefully. As you can see, guys, I got the summer hair done, which means it's summertime. We're gonna be doing some skydiving in Barcelona and in Madrid. I might try and get to Portugal, do some paragliding too. It's gonna be a fun extreme sports summer. Stay tuned. In the meantime, the car waffle is back. I'm at the ferry check-in. Wait till you see this vehicle now. Nice ride, guys. <laughs> Where are you taking that? Good, good evening, how are you? Yeah. Good, thank you. When you get to France, you may need to show a COVID pass. Um, I might have one, yeah, I might have one that might still be in date, yeah. Alright, doing random checks. So okay. You say you've got one. I had one when I went to, uh, I went to Greece recently, I will check one just in case. Okay. Whether it's still in date or not, I don't know, it should be. Find out. Yeah. If they don't like it, they may send you back. Oh, really? Okay, well, I'll deal with that when I get it. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the chance. <laughs> Alright, you all checked in. Thank Excellent. you very much. Thank you very much. Have a Thank, Thank you. Bye bye. This way. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Lane number two, right up the front. You know what that means? First on, first off. And then straight back to the UK because I'm no COVID part. <laughs> It is currently 20 to 6 in the morning. I left my house last night in Wales at about 6 p.m. And right now I'm driving towards a city called Brest. Oi, my eyes are up here. Not that kind of Brest, you cheeky bugger. I just can't find any music, like, can't find any stations playing music, it's just people waffling. I'm so tired, I had like two hours sleep on the ferry. It's now 8 o'clock in the morning, 
I still got five hours of driving. Knackered, full day of driving, but breast ain't you a sight for sore eyes. Oh. Well, I better head to Brest. What a waste of a day. All right, guys. I made it to Brest. It's half past four in the afternoon. I did pull over and have a pretty decent sleep, actually. I slept for like three hours, maybe. I was too tired. I was just driving along. I was zoning out. It was dangerous. I was going pretty fast. So I was like, nah, I've got to be an adult sometimes. Um, yeah, so I made it to Brest, later than planned, so tomorrow I'm going to go sightseeing. But for now I'll show you a little bit of the city, let's have a little look, shall we? Nice little car park, pretty much in the middle of Brest. Uh, it's free from what I can see. I can't see any ticket machines or any signs up. Uh, it's nice sheltered, little picnic area, kind of. And it's right near where I just drove down the, the tracks that I weren't meant to be driving down. <laughs> driving up train tracks. Not meant to be on here, surely. So I'm going to put the coordinates for this location in the link below. So make sure you check that out guys, it's a pretty cool spot. You could probably camp here too, I'm not going to camp here because I've got an awesome spot to camp in. Which I'm also going to show you later as well, but um, this spot's cool. Like the town is like right over there. Okay, so it's the end of day one in France, I am absolutely shattered. I just come from Brest and uh, I've ended up actually. There's my car over there, so you can see my campsite. Look at this view. Amazing is that? I mean, it would be better if I could go jumping in down there. I can, so for the time being, just go enjoy my life. Right guys, so you've seen my winter setup. Well, partially I haven't talked you through it, but you've seen it in my previous videos. For those of you that are keeping up with my videos. So now time for me to show you my summer setup. I'm really proud of this. So obviously summer in Spain is gonna be like super hot. So I wanna be sleeping when the window's open, but I don't want the mosquitoes to get me. So this is what I've done. I've got myself a mosquito net that is held up with a magnet here and magnets there. And on the other side, on the far end, it's a 
peg. So when I'm driving, the magnet comes off, the other peg on the inside comes down and the whole net collapses to one side, giving me my car as normal. Let me show you inside. There's a little opening here. My cosy little mosquito proof hideout in here. I can put a bit of tape here, which prevents my door from closing. So I can use that as my exit in the morning instead of the sunroof like I would normally use. And then in the night if I get too hot I can sort of kick it open, air it out. So that is my summer setup. Good morning. Ah, it's like eight o'clock and it's a beautiful day. I'm still in Brest. Hey. <laughs> and uh, today I have no plan. I think I'm gonna head south towards Quimper. All right, I have myself a liquid breakfast. Buy that cup of tea, not a beer. Ain't twenty anymore, guys. And then I am on my way. Catch up you in a bit. <sighs> Serving water is a pecking order for my morning routine. Order number one is brush your teeth. Number two, wash your face and your body. Oh. Number three, do your dishes, all with the same water. I've set my sat nav to avoid tall roads, avoid major roads. Hopefully we'll be seeing some lovely countryside and I have no fucking idea where I'm going. I'm just heading south towards Nantes. I've input something in my sat nav just so I can avoid the tall roads. If France wasn't notorious for tall roads, I wouldn't even be using my sat nav. I'd be using my Atlas, which I use quite a lot, actually, which I use throughout Scotland. Because that way I choose a city, follow that, and if you get lost, even better, because then you can uh, do some exploring and find some stuff that you wouldn't have found if you didn't get lost. But because I've heard notorious things about France in terms of tall roads, yeah, I'm on a tight budget, so that's something I'm gonna be avoiding. So that's the only reason I am using my sat nav is so that it can take me on roads that don't have tall all right guys, let's hit the road. does feel a lot better but only in a right hand drive car because I'm next to the curb I can high five people on the way past it's brilliant parallel parking piece of piss spot here you can see the boats in the back there. there. It's just off the end or just outside of Nantes. It's a pretty cool spot. It's got some hiking trails as well. I just stumbled across it by accident actually. And a free car park. Pretty cool spot guys if you're driving past make sure you check it out. Guys that is the end of part one. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for part two coming soon. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you on part two. See ya! Yeah.